Just a quick side note for you guys before we get started. My previous video, uh, the Scuttlecrab speedrun, was for League of Legends speedrunning, which I have gotten back into after a number of years. Uh, it's actually really fun, so go ahead and check it out on speedrun.com, League of Legends section. There are a bunch of cool uh, sections for you guys to try to speedrun. And yes, that was me setting the world record for fastest time to kill both scuttle crabs. Let's get into it. So today I want to talk about Gen G vs. DK, uh, the playoff series that happened yesterday over in the LCK. Um, this was a complete stomp, and it's got me thinking that Gen G is just on another level. I talked yesterday or a few days ago now about how the LCK as a region is looking ridiculously strong, and that they're set up really well to win worlds with four really strong representatives. And, well, Gen G just looks to be on another level out of those four teams. Um, you know, Gen G, DK, HLE, and T1 are all good teams, but Gen G, after 3 0 in DK, like easily, none of these games were even very close, kind of thing, Gen G's just a step ahead. Um, whether it's just their roster construction, having, you know, the quote unquote super team roster, or just their grip on macro play and team play and. Uh, everything like that, uh, they're just better. Um, and if we just take a quick peek at this game one draft, um, you know, their utilization of Ziggs um, and Tristana for turret busting, as well as DK drafting Malphite into 180C uh, and Rel into Poppy just isn't very good for them. So, um, you know, Gen G got advantages in other ways, but Overall, they just played ridiculously well, and they have been doing so this entire year. They won Spring Split LCK, they won MSI pretty easily, I might add. Like, they 3-1 to the finals, I think, in MSI, or maybe even 3-0'd. Um, and it wasn't very, it didn't look challenging for them. Um, they did falter at the EWC uh, and get eliminated pretty early there, but it's not like that contributes to the Golden Road or the, the Grand Slam, as people call it. Um, and then, you know, they're looking like they're going to win uh, LCK Summer pretty dominantly after going 17-1 and in the regular season. And, you know, we'll see what they do at Worlds. Gen.G is, you know, kind of notorious for choking at Worlds, but I think that this is the year that we could be looking at a Grand Slam in League of Legends for the first time in history. You know, G2 was just hairs away from doing it in 2019 after winning both LEC splits, winning MSI, and being in World Finals, but losing to FPX in that. So I think this could be the time that we see the Grand Slam completed from Gen G. Um, they've been dominant the entire year, and their roster is just absolutely insane. You know, they've had really great rosters the last few years uh, with uh, Chovy, um, and uh, ruler in the past, but you know after bringing in Pays and he's got a year of experience under his belt now And also bringing in Canyon and Keen literally the best players in their respective roles in the LCK period um, You know this roster is just absolutely insane Individually and once they figured out how to mesh well as a team and communicate together It was kind of just doomed for the rest of the league So this roster should be dominating and it absolutely is um, they're going on to face either T1 or HLE uh, next in the playoffs, uh, whoever wins out of that series. And, you know, if Gen G faces T1 in the playoffs, Gen G usually just wins. That's how it works. Um, HLE could maybe take a game, maybe go to game five with them. But I really don't see a way in which a team beats Gen G in the LCK right now. Their roster is just too strong, their grip on the meta and map movements and macro play is just too strong and their, their individual players are just better than everyone else that's really i feel like the the defining uh thing for this team is that their individual players are all the best in their position uh the only person you can maybe argue against that for is pays but honestly the guy's freaking insane um and you can't really say anything negative about the guy so genji my prediction is they're easily going to win LCK this year, and honestly, I'm just going to predict right now that they're going to win Worlds. Um, when I look at the LPL, even though I don't follow it too closely, uh, there's not really a standout team that I can say can really challenge Gen G right now. You know, BLG is good, Top is good, maybe Weibo if they get in, but it's not like these teams 
like I've said in videos past, LPL teams are just really inconsistent. They rely a lot on early game fights and coin flippy fights uh, to get ahead and snowball, and their their gameplay is just less consistent uh, than someone like Gen G's and just generally in the LCK. So I think that uh, with the meta the way it is, and with the rosters the way it, the way they are, I think uh, Gen G's going into Worlds just kind of a step ahead of everybody else. And I don't think it's very close. Um, obviously, I didn't mention any teams from the West in that list. The only one really of note is Team Liquid right now. Um, maybe if G2 can get their act together, they could challenge uh, the East. But as of now, Gen G is really the standout premier team in the world. Uh, and I think every single team, every other team in the LCK, every team in the LPL is second tier to Gen G. You know, I don't want to gas these guys up too much, but if you actually watch their gameplay, they're freaking insane. As a team, their coordination and communication looks to be on point. Their drafting is largely solid uh, for the most part that I've seen. And, you know, their individual players, like I said, are probably the best in their positions in the LCK, if not in the entire world, quite honestly. Um, so this team is looking absolutely insane and I would not be surprised at all uh, if they end up completing the Grand Slam for the first time ever in League of Legends. Um, and you know, it's got me thinking now, what would happen if T1 really got their crap together? Uh, they look better against KT Rolster, and uh, you know, their series against uh, HLE is happening very soon here. So I think that, you know, if they can get their crap together, maybe they can challenge Gen.G, but again, if they meet in playoffs, Gen.G just kind of wins. Uh, for you know two or three years in a row that's how it's worked HLE I said in a video recently that I think they're actually the strongest team in the LCK yeah I was very wrong about that HLE is a great team but Gen G is just a cut above that's just how it is they're better uh, at, at everything that at every other team so um, HLE definitely could make it a competitive series uh, I think Zekka's a great player I think Viper is a great player so they definitely have the capability to make it competitive, um, but in general, I think that um, you know Gen G just kind of kind of roll their way through the LCK playoffs. Like even in this series against DK, uh, you know DK had their moments. Uh, they made the games pretty competitive at times, um, but Gen G was just better, and you could you could see it even in game two. I think it was where DK did get pretty ahead in the early game. Gen G just came back because they're just better players and better as a team, and better as a unit. Um, so it just seems pretty set in stone right now that the LCK is going to be won by Gen G uh, in the summer split. And we'll have to see if they can perform and keep up the same level at Worlds, uh, because if they do, it looks like we're going to be getting uh, the first ever Grand Slam in League of Legends history. Thanks for watching. See you next time.